At some point, someone's just going to say it's for charity, just let them go. Well, they're obviously betting available, and the lion source is going to go wire to wire. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Bailey Green has almost stopped at the start, and he's now tailed off last. Front of the stairs from Colbert Station and Killian McCarthy. Then it comes Don't Back Me and Martin Devaney running in third. Just behind them is Swordfish and Eamon Egan with moving up on the outside. Racing into the turn, away from the stands, Astor towards the inside, Mr. Steadfast and Redmond Barry, as they race downhill right over on the far side, right across from the stands, up towards the halfway point, and don't back me from Kylo Seiki Surgeon on the outside, with a further break of five to six lengths to Mr. Steadfast, as they continue right over on the far side, as they begin to make the run now to take them across to the straight. Kylo Seiki Surgeon now rejoined again, on the outside by Don't Back Me, Duna Porsche, Chapter 7. They're being followed by Love the Feeling and Minabad. In between horses is Colbert Station and Killing McCarthy making some headway as they begin the run now for the approach for the straight and now chapter 7 is coming back to regain the lead on the outside is Colbert Station, Aminabad, Love the Feeling, Kylo Seiki, Surgeon Perez has improved, then making ground is Mr. Steadfast Duna Poshni is not out of it, coming back towards the leaders as they head for home and Perez is just in behind them and Jack Blue is getting into contention but off the bend it's chapter 7 and Kerry Lyons from Colbert Station, Kill and McCarthy down the outside Mr. Steadfast and Redmond Barry with Perez also making ground for Michael O'Connor they're racing now to the final furlong and over on the far side chapter 7 being taken on by Mr. Steadfast and Redmond Barry Perez is just behind the Michael O'Connor they're racing to the judge now chapter 7 and Perez it's going to be a head bobber and Perez and Michael O'Connor will get up to beat Redmond Barry in second on Mr. Steadfast Chapter 7 and Kerry Lines are in third place in the field of Jack Flew, who's possibly fourth in Barbara's description for that position. We're going to move back to Red Barry, of course familiar to GA players and GA fraternity. Hard luck. Yeah, probably maybe went a bit too soon. I don't know. Gordon will have to tell me. I don't know. I did wrong. But I don't know. He gave me a fantastic ride and just fair play to the owners and the trainers and everyone for giving us the horses. You know what I mean? It's it's fantastic cause and and fair play to James Nolan and all the crew organising. It's brilliant. Just likes of us a chance to ride in something like that. Some boys that tell you. That's You've been riding horses long. Uh, I rode as a youngster. Pony club, all that crack. And Willie Cod is me brother in law. I rode out with Willie there back through the years. They're not a whole pile, but just helped out the odd time and stuff. So I've been out a bit, but it's nothing compared to what trying to ride in that there, you know. Have you got the boat? Actually, yeah, look, I, my wife passed away to my wife now. I guess I'll have to come back next year. I feel, I feel like I made a bit of an eagle myself down the end of it, so I have to redeem myself. Yeah, well done. Wake shirt for the all Ireland. Oh, yeah, double to oh. bother them, yeah. Double, small ball, big ball. Oh, sure, yeah, it's simple, simple. Come on, right. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Michael. Oh, you nearly fell off with him. <laughs> 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 well done, son. Well done. Well done, fella.
hopefully the jockey on Mr. Steadfast doesn't have to go and see the stewards. Um, did look as though, as, as whipping goes, that looked like something that he maybe practiced at home. Right, let's go to I thought you were lucky to get away with 16. What's your thoughts on it? Are you counting the one in that 40 that I actually missed him and nearly fell off? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, a bit of dangerous riding as well there. <laughs> Mikey Bowdy reckons I tried to turn the horse. <laughs> no, for you. No, yeah. Um, I look, uh, there's no marks on him. He's grand. I wouldn't make a mark at that. I can now understand. Are you getting tutelage from uh, Mikey Bowdy? <laughs> <laughs> Mikey is, uh, he is my hero when it comes to the art of... Uh, Hitting a horse, so yeah, yeah. To be honest with you, I've looked at I've looked at a couple of Mikey races where he got bands, and that's what I tried to style myself on today. Yeah, well, butcher, I was, you know, it was a cruel and ugly spectacle, but I can understand now where it all came from. And Mikey Fogarty was a coach. Yeah, and look, you know, I looked at a few of Jamie's rides there as well. He's just better at getting away with it, you know. He, he hits him just as much as Mikey, but Jamie's just able to hide it. Jamie has to rug on the horse before he even gets off, gets past the winning post, and yeah. the marks are covered up. Yeah, and I interviewed Jamie Codd out on track the other day, and I actually wondered that, because every time I do see Jamie coming back in, the first thing he says to the lad or the last lady, you know, put the sweat sheet on quick, over his hind quarters. Yeah, well, we all know that, is, don't we? And Butcher, are you going to appeal? <laughs> no, I'll take it. There's a, good, there's a good 365 days before the renewal of the 28 uh, charity day, so I, I, I should be alright. Yeah. And Butcher, you obviously thought you'd a hurl in your hand and not a stick. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have heard it, I wouldn't have missed it, it's longer. <laughs> a butcher. <laughs> What's the future hold? Um, yeah, look, I'll, I'll try and get the pass in. I'd say it'll only be an annual event. I won't take it on the day. My divine title next year. I'll, I'll come back here and I'll see you after that. Maybe. And your brother-in-law, Willie Codds. I was lucky enough to ride it, Willie Codd. Hell of a good rider. He'll be absolutely disgusted with that performance, I imagine. Of all people, I'm going to get some grilling off William. The rest of them will be alright. William will stay at me. William will come down here. I know for next year, won't I? How would you like to get a bollocking off Willie Codd? I should have. You just have to lay it in one ear and out the other. You weren't much good at hurling. You're even worse at riding. You're going to try and play the big ball sport now, maybe? Don't you? Oh, I don't know. I tell you, if you'd have seen me last week, you'd say I'm fairly bad at that too, so I'd say now. I'd be hanging up to your football boots and getting a pair of these, maybe. Yeah. You'd a uh, jockey come on you today. I'd say they won't show the footage of that after, would <laughs> Thankfully, I think it wasn't working. <laughs> Lucky for racing. I don't know hey, hey, as, long as, it was, as long as it wasn't on the back, eh? <laughs> That's it from Punches to the Butcher Barry. <laughs> Hello again, folks. This is uh, the weapon used by Butcher Barry this evening in the finale in the bumper. There's a smell of Mr. Yeah. Steadfast off it. Redmond has been in the steward's room for the last half an hour, 16 days, they say. As that brings down our fun and activities here on Families Day. Thanks for joining us, folks, and we'll see you all in John Barry tomorrow evening. It's over and out from Foggy Bits. Cheers,